Shocking, isn't it? Hello people, Zap 20 million here, and welcome to another episode of Portal. I uh, had a bit of issues with this video, so right now this is future me. Um, for some reason, my audio for my voice in the for this recording did not work out. So anyway, I'm just going to use this time to talk about a few things while I watch myself play a game and tell you certain things that I said during these parts. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background, if there is some. Anyway. I really... These puzzles were surprisingly really easy, and there's... The, I think this is... Yeah, this is the one where it says that this one's impossible. I think it's really funny because it's like... It's not impossible. It just looks impossible if you don't look for the hole like I just did there. Like, cause I already knew what to do. I'm trying to be efficient. Um, yeah. This is what happens when you have to do recording. And my roommate's the here, eating food for this <laughs> next to me gesture. while I do my narration. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta, just because you guys apparently don't need to know, but need to know because I'm weird like that, I got a haircut. Um, yeah, it's a nice little haircut. It looks better. So when you see me in a little, if you saw the last video I did with my roommate, uh, my hair was a mess. Now it looks good. <laughs> For once. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hungry? Yes. Where's my water? Where's my water? Yay, water! <laughs> One thing I like about these portal games is one, how old they are, and two, um, how well made they are. The animation for these were super good. This is, oh, at this point I was adjusting my position on the floor uh, from the couch so I could get Hello a little bit again. closer to the mic. To then find out after recording that this one didn't go through for the voice recording, which was really annoying. Um, this one I really, I really liked this stage because uh, they had a really funny saying in this. Uh, I think I bat this on my head. Bap! <laughs> right on the top of my head. But there was a really funny thing in this that I really liked. It was like, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yay! We are over. So, um, I'm gonna bring, uh, ask a couple, uh, at least one question to my roommate here. Judging by just from my gameplay, what do you think of the game? Like, how does it look to you? Yeah. It looks complicated? Like, complicated in what way? In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out. I didn't know what to do. Oh, I've beaten the game. That's how I know. <laughs> but uh, it's very simple. It gives you a hint at the beginning of each uh, at the beginning of each um, thing normally, like each test table chamber, to give you a little bit of a hint um, on what you need to do. Um, not all of them do. Sometimes, sometimes I'm at a loss if I don't. But I usually observe the chamber before I continue. Mm. Yeah, it's the best way to do that. Is just observe what's there, and then figure it out as you go. Like this one right here. This is where you get the the orange portal. Um, you have to activate. The uh, a lift. That, that lift over there, you can see it. Uh, you have to activate that by pushing the button. But you also have to activate the uh, the little light thing in the corner there, right underneath that one door. The one with the light coming out of it. You gotta put the little red, little, there's like this little red energy ball that you can see flying across in, up there. Um, you gotta get that inside that. And that thing out there in the top corner is what's making it. So you have to get it in there to get the energy source. Then there's going to be a button that's going to pop up by the the oh uh, what's it called? by the portal gun, and that's where you can get it. Here we go. It looks like I just see where everything is. 
flies in, hits that, charges that, which activates the thing for me, the platform. So I just wait until the portal gun rotates enough to hit the other section. And then eventually I get to grab this. But one thing that I really questioned when I was playing this was that wouldn't I technically just have two portal guns? One in each arm? Because you're holding the blue one. Then you grab this one, this one's just an orange one. But instead they just get crammed together. <laughs> Which is really weird. See, so yeah, I just grab it and then it modifies my portal gun apparently. It's like, no, wouldn't I have just two portal guns? <laughs> I thought that was a funny little thing. Thought. It'd be funny though, too. So that was the button I was supposed to press, but it completely, like, ignored it for some reason. I don't know why I completely ignored it, because I forgot what I was doing. I also really shouldn't have forgot what I was doing, because it was the, the thing. Like, I looked right at the button and I didn't even press it. <laughs> I realized, oh, I made a mistake and I had to wait on the freaking thing again. This is where I was just like, what do I do? Oh, the button. I, I thought, I was like, I'm dumb. <laughs> Uh, you make mistakes a lot in this, but it's it's all about puzzles, solving puzzles, and there is a storyline to it. It's really good though, I enjoy it. it. Makes me happy. But these platforms are stupidly slow. Don't know why they're so slow. They look better in Portal 2. To me anyway. Um, in this one, the technology for it is pretty interesting. As well button push and then I had to wait for it again <laughs> which was really infuriating it's funny though it was really funny though oh and I hope some of you guys if you guys are up if you're interested in it I have been doing Dungeons and Dragons live streams roughly every Saturday if I'm able to um, we usually do at least two episodes per night because we do one we do roughly two hours to like one to two hours uh usually two hours take a break and then play for the rest of the night and then then we're done for that session and you take in total it's about uh if you put them together it's a total roughly could be up to about five hours because we usually start from four Till midnight. Yeah, roughly from four to midnight, and we take a break, at least an hour break between the two. There's an odd chance that I um. Oh yay, more flinging! <laughs> this is the one where Glados um glitches out and says, "Wee," because <laughs> it's speedy thing goes in. Speedy thing goes out, and I'm the speedy thing. <laughs> but this puzzle was really easy to figure out. It did not take you me long at all. And once I figured it out, it was just like it jump, 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 dun, 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 dun. Ah, oh, excuse me. That was a burp. And up. Woo! Wee. Not yet. It will say we soon once I push the button. Button. I did also question. They are weighted storage cubes. What? What? Are, what are they storing in those cubes? We. <laughs> I love that. It just sparks. And then we leave. Moving on to the next one. If you guys seen the first episode, uh, you guys would have noticed that I had a bit of issues with sound quality there, and for some reason it's happened again. I think it seems like the third episode that I already recorded today um, has gotten the best uh, audio recording so far, which is good. It's just it, it's annoying that the first two episodes don't have proper audio recording. Angry. 
Screw your testing apparatus. I mean like that. I needed the, the two things. Neighbors knocking. Anyway. Moving on. So this is one was pretty easy too. It was basically get the light ball into the thing and then press button and then press another button. And that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Made me happy anyway. Wheeze! Zoink! Zoink! Boom! In it goes! Which activated that, which allowed me to get the cube, which then allowed me to push two buttons, which then allowed me to leave this chamber. I think I, it was either, yeah, there was one more chamber I did after this one, I think? Could be wrong? Question mark? Perfect. Right on the dot. Even though it's lopsided, nor do I care though. This one I had a little bit of troubles lining it up because it, oh and for some reason the cube decided to be like, I defy gravity or just get caught on the two sides. It got a little bit annoying, but I figured it out <laughs> by smacking it off thing. Ah, no! I'm having issues. As you can see there. There you go, then I manage it, and then I move on. These puzzles start off very easy if you already know what you're doing. Um, I think it gets roughly a little bit harder when you get closer to the boss at the end protocol. with GLaDOSes. We can no longer lie to not allowed to, no longer allowed to lie to you. You will be missed. Over, you will be missed. It's like, ah, that's, oh, that's so sweet. I, yet, I don't believe her. <laughs> uh, this is forced to do puzzles for your amusement. Now this one, I think I solved it pretty quickly too. Uh, when I first did this one, it took me longer to do, and I also tried to do my old method instead of what you were supposed to do to get to one of the weighted cubes uh, on the other side of the room. Um, not in there. That way, yes. <laughs> And you are an excellent test subject. It was pre it's pretty fun. For a lot of the things that I have planned lately too, is that I plan on completing this game uh, and do a full series on it. I will plan. I do plan on going back to completing my For Honor series, which I but I just been, haven't had the time, and I need to get. I'm planning on getting a new computer so I could properly play the game and not have to worry about it lagging out or anything like that. So yeah, just. Uh, the For Honor series is going to be on hold for a while until I can get to that. Until I can get my new computer. And yeah, here's me just trying to do my old method where I just try to use the movement in the air to try and get on the platform. And I just, I don't know why I kept trying and I just kept screwing up every single time. For some reason, I just kept going, kept trying. And it was, I was like, why isn't this working? This worked before when I first played this. <laughs> I had this originally for the Xbox. Uh, I had the orange box for the Xbox 360 that came with. Uh, well, people who know already know what, it, what the orange box comes with, but it comes with Team Fortress 2. Um, but it, yeah, for the for, but for the Xbox 360, Half Life 2 uh, with the episodes one and two for Half Life 2, and it also comes with Portal. Uh, which is pretty fun. I actually had a lot of fun playing it. And a shortcut. Yay! Just use p thinking with portals. Uh, had a little. I, for some reason, you get you can sometimes have a little issues with the portals. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what how I knew about this game, how I played it. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and uh, one YouTuber. Rage Gaming Videos, I recommend him, he's pretty cool. He also got me into Portal 2 when I watched some of his uh, his playthrough, uh, some of his playthrough of it and uh, his um, test chambers, like, uh, cha like challenge test chambers and stuff like that where he w had creators 
make him test chambers and he would play them and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Very close to the end here. I just completed this puzzle. I think I was just listening to certain things. And I was questioning, I was like, wait, what did it say? No, oh yeah, victory lift. You raise me up. And then I leave. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and my bit of rambling. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video because I certainly did. I just repeated myself. And we will see you guys all in the next video. Derp, 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 derp. Bye.